I have this because yes, I went to the Taylor Swift Eras Tour. I went to um, the second set of London dates, the penultimate night, and I unfortunately <laughs> had to spend quite a lot of money to get the tickets, thank God, for credit cards. Um, but that does mean that I ended up with the Taylor Swift goodie bag. Now this is the goodie, I mean, it's not goodie, it's a goodie box. This is the goodie box. Um, there's an awful lot of stuff in here and I don't need it all. So my plan is to make this into a um, like souvenir kind of sentimental thing. A lot of people have been putting stuff in box frames and that is absolutely what I will be doing. The issue that I have, I don't know if you can see this, is that it's not A4, it's not A3. This is Olive, hello. Uh, don't crinkle them. It's kind of tall, but narrow. So yeah, it's, it's a bit of an awkward size, but we'll come to that. So here is what I'm thinking to do. I'm gonna get a box frame and I'm going to frame this and I'm going to hang the lanyard next to it and I'm going to string the friendship bracelets that I swapped onto here. I'll go and grab those shortly. And I'm gonna have the um, VIP ticket just at the bottom. It's kind of missing some pictures, um, but I don't wanna make the frame too massive. So what I have done is this. I went on Photo Bubble and I had the pictures that I took that evening, or my friend took, turned. So yeah, I went on Photo Bubble and I had the pictures turned into a photo strip that would just slot really nicely in. And I really wanted to have the date included. So I went on Canva, I pulled the hex codes from the Eris poster because I'm extra. And I just made this little additional picture that I added to the fourth slot, which is just Wembley, 1908, 2024. I had to get a pretty enormous box frame because like I said, the, the picture, the poster is such an unusual, irritatingly not standard size. So I had to get slightly bigger than I potentially would have wanted. But there it is, so this is really big. But I got something else while I was there as well. I got this book of watercolor paper. If you can see, they're all different colors. Um, kind of very similar to the era's colors um, because I knew there would be like a blank space behind the lanyard and I just didn't want that, Just I just didn't want that to be ugly. So I'm gonna get these and kind of like stripe them down the side. We're gonna play, we're gonna see. Something that I also have is this. Now this is the um, kind of wristband thing that they give you that has the light on it so that everyone in the audience kind of lights up. I've taken the light off it as you can see, but I kind of wanna keep this. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a secondary project and I'm going to stitch this around the wrist of the sweatshirt that I got on the day and that will be just like a little thing to make it a little bit more special. But for now, we have poster, we have all of the friendship bracelets, the lanyard, the picture, the VIP ticket. So these are the ones that I swapped. I've got some really fun ones. That These are the ones I made, but I kind of want to throw some in as well. But I had a few little swapsy ones, which are quite cool. So I'll be hanging those in a couple of these. A couple of these I'm going to keep to wear. Um, a couple I will throw in. Um, to the box when I send it. But there we go. These are all of the friendship bracelets that I will be hanging, so just join me. Loads of people have made box frame souvenirs from this evening, so I'm not doing anything brand new. This is just my little take on it that I wanted to share. So unfortunately, I was not there on the last night, so I did not get, sadly, um, to see Florence, uh, Welsh Florence and the Machine, which is a real shame because I absolutely adore her. Um, Florence and the Machine are one of my favorite bands. Um, so it's a real shame that that isn't something that happened, but I actually can't complain at all, not even a tiny bit, because I was saying when my friend and I were in the merch queue um, how sad I was that uh, I wasn't gonna get to hear Long Live or You're On Your Own Kid, because those are um, songs that I absolutely adore, and I was really sad I wasn't going to get to hear them live and then she played them, so 
uh, I was a bit of a wreck. I did cry. I did get a tiny bit emotional. Right, so we're gonna start with the friendship bracelets that I was given, because I definitely want those in my frame. Where's the other one that I was given? Okay, these are all ones I was, ah, this one as well. Don't forget that one. That was the very first one I was handed on the train by a little girl, which was really cute of her. So that's kind of the layout that I'm thinking that I've plotted out on the board and the backing paper. Um, so I've got the picture slightly covering the lanyard, got the uh, friendship bracelets, the main poster and the VIP ticket. I think that looks really cute. I think that looks really nice. Um, but I need to check if it works in the frame. So let's do that. There we go, all framed. So as you can see, we have got the VIP here in front of the official tour poster. I've got my VIP lanyard. There you go with all my um, friendship bracelets and some pictures. I really, really like the colours down the side. I'm so grateful that I managed to find some that pick out these different colours. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Oh, I'm so happy. So for the time being, I've put it on top of one of my bookcases. My bookcase is pretty empty at the moment. It's just got loads of project stuff in it. I really like how this looks. These two need to be hung up, which I will get around to. So I might just leave this here. I was going to hang it in the corner, um, but I kind of like it. I usually, when I use my record player, put it up here as well. So it could be a good fit. It could just be a good fit to live here. That's a really nice thing to do. And now I'm gonna work on my next project. So I've done the box frame. I'm very happy with it. It looks beautiful over there on my bookcase, but there's something else that I want to do as well, because as I said, I got, the um, the fabric wristband that they give you and it has like a little thing that they, you just pull up to tighten and on it it has the the light bulb box thing so that um, it's kind of attuned to the set list and different colors happen at different times in the show and like during the reputation tour it created like a snake of lights going around the audience which was pretty cool um, and I kind of didn't want to throw it away and I, I didn't think it would fit in the box frame. I mean, it would fit obviously, but fit with the aesthetic. Um, I can never pronounce that word, aesthetic. It wouldn't fit with the vibe essentially. So I thought, what else can I do with it? Well, I got myself on the day, I got myself the um, Eras Tour sweatshirt. So it's got the Eras Tour stuff on the back. It's got Eras Tour down the arm. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I just sewed this around the wrist of the sweatshirt. Now, I am not a good sewist, and as I'm looking at this, there is, you know, some gathering going on, as you can see. So I'm wondering if maybe it would be better to have it as like just a strip along the arm. Oh, that might be better because if I put it around the wrist, I will have to cut a chunk off, like quite quite a sizable chunk will have to be cut off, or I will have to kind of sew it kind of like it was on me, like that, and have the little tassel end, which could be quite cool actually. My concern is, like I say, that it is gathered. So it doesn't, ha it's not like a straight line of sewing and um, your girl does not sew. So I'm wondering, what if I just sew it along the seam oh, under the arm? That could be cute. That could be cute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin it in place and then I'm gonna try it on and we will see. Okay, my camera died, um, so we're now shooting this on my phone. Um, but yes, I am going to pin the wristy thing. What do we call these? The wristy thing um, along the seam of one of the arms, and then I'm going to try it on, and we're going to see if we like it. We're going to see if we like it before I commit to sewing it on. This is how little I sew. This is a sewing kit that hasn't even come out of the plastic. So, <laughs> uh, 
yeah, let's let's get pinning. Yeah, let's get it starting at the wrist. Oh god. People who sew are gonna be looking at this like why is this woman so cat handed? Why is she so clumsy? But I don't do this guys, this is not what I do. Okay, I've just pinned either end like that. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, there we go. I kind of like that. It's like just a little, little subtle, subtle detail. It would have been cooler if it could go round, admittedly. But I think that looks quite neat. Okay. Okay, we're going to sew that on. Now, what I will say is when I pinned it, I could feel the seam inside. So what I might do is just follow the line of that seam, if that makes sense. So I will kind of sit it along that. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know what terminology I'm supposed to be utilizing here. So yeah. I'm also I'm looking at the colors that are in this sewing kit and I'm wondering if I do, if I do a little contrast backstitch. This is calling to me. This feels like a very Taylor Swift colour. It's kind of pale lavender. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then maybe as I run out, I'll try a different colour. Kind of like how I did those papers in the box frame. Of course, the worst that can happen is going to be under my arm. No one's really going to see it. It's just a little secret for me. Okay, so I'm going to take this off, put my cardigan back on. And um, maybe try and pin it a little bit more because I don't think this is helping me at all. So wish me luck, gang. She's going in. We are still on my phone. We are still balanced very precariously on the coffee table. So should Olive jump up, it's game over. You're going to go down. I feel like I probably should have ironed it because there's this like ripple in the fabric. Um, I think that was from the the clamp that held it in place that you pushed up to, to make it fit you. Um, I own an iron that I haven't used in the two and a half years that I've lived here. Two and a half years? Two and a bit years. And um, I don't own an ironing board. So that's not going to happen. Um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to, I can't even find the end on this. Where's the end? Oh my God, I've just thrown needles everywhere. Oh, 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 um, oh no. Oh, there's another one. Is there another one? Yeah, there is. Okay. 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 It's safe. It's safe. We're good. So I am still shooting this on my mobile because my camera is completely dead. So... Bear with me if this is a bit wobbly, um, but I've got my my sweatshirt on and I have sewn it into the arm seam. Now it is, as you can see, the underarm seam. So you can't, I can't really show it off very well. I wonder if I do this. There you go. Look at that. So I'm quite happy with that. I am quite happy with that. I've done it with the pale lavender and it's just a little, little subtle kapow kapow so it is actually just this little secret thing little secret addition i think it would have been cool to put it around the wrist and maybe leave the the edge hanging off like when you're wearing it at the actual show but this is also good and within my uh skill set because even this is not the <laughs> the the straightest sewing it's a bit wibbly it's a bit wobbly the inside we're not going to talk about um but yeah there we go so that is that's a wrap on my souvenir making my memory making my memory saving my memento making that is the phrase i'm looking for my memento making from my night at the eras tour and we're all done. And now I'm going to go and make some tacos. So I hope you have tacos or tea or whatever it is you want. And I wish you a very swifty weekend. Bye.